167 and three quarter pounds. This gentleman has a record of 24 wins, three losses, 12 knockouts. All the way from Sionaville, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mark, the golden boy, Crazy. Crazy. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the dark blue trunks, with the light blue trim. He weighed in at an even 167 pounds. This young man has a record of 23 wins, only one loss with 18 knockouts. From Waterkey, New Jersey, boxing fans, here is Bobby Chappy Chase. Chase. Here. You give me a good clean fight, I will not bother you, right? You score a knockdown, I want you to go to the farthest neutral corner and stay there until I tell you to come out. Three knockdown rule is out in Jersey, right? I'll use my discretion. Now 40 seconds. Fighter in the floor at the bell. The bell will not save anybody. So let the man get up by himself, start walking to his corner, and that's the only time you can assist him, all right? Don't come into the ring because that call for uh, disqualification. I don't want to do that, all right? Any questions? Shake hands. Good luck to us. And the explicit instructions from the referee, Tony Perez. Bobby Chez on the right, Mark Crazy on the left, Chez 3-0 since the long layoff of about 10 months because of an injured hand. And here we go, round one of our main event scheduled for 10. This is the one a lot of folks have been waiting for. This uh, Paris Arena has been sold out for some two weeks in anticipation. And Chez comes out throwing leather, Steve. A good shot to the gut and one to the head. Two tough punchers. As Crazy told me earlier today, he said, either one of us will win it within three. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a war. And Chad says, I'm going to test his chin and his heart early to see if he's really serious about what Bobby Chaz, orthodox stand-up boxer slugger. He likes to employ that shotgun jab, as he calls it. He puts everything into it, tries to lower the boom with the shotgun jab. His best weapon is sheer strength. Pretty good left there by Crazy, snapping Chez's head back. Interesting thing is, in the last 18 months, Chez has a total of just five rounds to his credit, winning three fights on knockouts. While in the 18-month period, Crazy has 56 rounds to his credit, four and two. And I guess the reason I'm bringing that up is simply because Chez has not had that much time in the ring, but he's knocking people out, and he can knock you out. There's no doubt about that. A first-round knockout, for example, over Jim Baker. A second-round knockout over Bill Midai. And a second-round knockout over Kurt Lee, his first fight back after that long layoff. That was on the undercard of the Alexis Arguello-Aaron Pryor rematch last September the 9th in Las Vegas. Chez has had a hand operation. He's also had monotubulosis. And he's come back from vacation in Acapulco. And he says he's ready to go. He looks good. He came in today lean. And looks in great shape. Hurt his hand while sparring with James Hardrock Green. An operation which doctors took a bone from his right hip and placed it into his right hand. So he's sort of the Tommy John of boxing. Two tough fighters that can throw it. Either hand. Good punchers, Crazy's been around, doesn't duck anybody, and he lets you know that. He says, I don't hand-pick fighters like Chez does. Chez showing he can take a punch, which isn't too smart. Chez wearing the navy blue trunks with the powder blue stripe on Crazy. Powder blue with a gold trim, and Chez goes to work on the head of Crazy. And that prompts the reaction from the crowd. There's Chez again with a combination. Chez looking more confident as his first round winds down. Crazy's face showing some wear here in the first round already. Starting to look puffy as he tries to counter punch all his goals. Oh, 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 most of the crowd reveling in Bobby Chez. So round one is complete. Early we had a chance to get the comments of the managers of these fighters. So let's go to that right now. This training's going very well. We've been in, in Texas and Buffalo for the last five weeks, and he's in extremely good shape. Well, the, the, the 
outstanding thing about Mark Fraser is not only he's an outstanding boxer, has been an outstanding amateur and professional boxer, but Mark Fraser is an outstanding young man. This man is going to be a winner after he gets out of boxing. I think this sums up the, the good points of Mark Fraser, and I honestly don't know any bad points about Mark Fraser. And first round action with Chez throwing leather just like he said he would, testing the chin and cutting Crazy. Here we go. Jam to the bottom. And round two scheduled for ten. Bobby Chez looking impressive. Toward the end of round one, Chess says Frazier has lost every time he's fought in Atlantic City, which is twice, and I plan to keep his record intact. It's going to be a good workout before I take on Murray Sutherland this summer. The very confident words of Bobby Chess wearing the navy blue, the dark blue trunks. There's no doubt about it, this new super middleweight class by the IBF has been a great incentive to Chess after his injuries and his illness. There would be a tendency maybe to go a little flat, but now this new class has him recharged, and he wants that fight, he wants to win here tonight, and he wants a shot at Sutherland. However, let's not sell him crazy short, not yet. The super middleweight class is a relatively new one. It's for big middleweights, 168-pound division, and it's recognized solely by the International Boxing Federation. Crazy looking for an opening, but Jez covering up well. Jez is a great crowd placer, a great draw. He's a good money maker. He knows it. He says it's a job. I know the fans like me. I can pack the place, and he has tonight a sellout two weeks ago. The crowd that includes his mom, Louise, who is near ringside. There's a solid straight left by Jez. Flush on the face of Crazy. There's that shotgun jab which set up the right by Jez. Sweeping right, that was a glancing blow by Bobby Chen. Crazy, a little tentative now, a little tentative after getting stung in the face a number of times as they stand in the middle of the ring and unloading his chest. Crazy trying to anticipate those punches. Might have flinched before that last solid right landed. I would say Crazy has his work cut out for him. He's taking too much leather. There really doesn't seem to be too much he can do about it. He's trying to come back, counter punch. It's just too difficult. Chase is just too fired up. After a minute remaining, round two. The scoring in New Jersey by the round system with the supplemental five-point left system in the event of a draw. The scoring is done by three judges. The referee is not involved. The judges are Frank Brunette, Phil Newman, and Tommy Kazmerick. Good left hand then by Crazy, but look at this. Uppercut by Bobby Chad. Crazy not landing, falling short with those jabs. Chad's extremely confident today, too. Really confident about this fight. Seems to be a cut developing around the left eye of Mark Crazy as you see the time dwindling down. Ten seconds in counting in round two. Shape he's ever been in. As we head for the bell. Ah! Let's follow Bobby Chez into the corner. He's got one of the masters talking to him. He's had a year of champions. Lou Duba. Take his jab, the double jab, and go. Listen, good body pressure on this guy. Mm -hmm. This guy's not going to fight if he put pressure on him. Don't sit outside with me. Okay, you want to do that, John? Do that. Chez unloading tonight, doing nothing wrong, really. Throwing the shots to the body, cutting crazy as they try to patch it up. Round three, scheduled for ten. Bobby Chez in control. As Mark Crazy tries to put on the attack. Crazy at blood dripping from a cut on the left eye toward the end of round two. We'll see how good a job their cut man did. 
big difference there, Steve, is that Chez is tremendously primed for this fight. He wants it. Look at this. He's airing it out. A blistering attack in the center of the ring by Chez. Keep in mind, though, Breezy is a veteran. He's been in with people like Scipion. He's tough. He won't lose his cool, but his face is starting to take it. Cut over the eye, swelling around the lower part of the eyes. He's taking too many punches. You can't take too many punches and stand there for too long. That cut really opening up, and Chez landed right on the cut with the right. All right, Rick. No point. Step back. Crazy. You mentioned against Scipion. Lost a 10-round decision. Crazy lost every round. That was just a superb night for Scipion. And this looks like a, a superb night thus far, at least for Bobby Chez. Chez now can make a very definite move and drive Crazy back into the ropes. Those inside combinations. Let's see if he does it. Chez looking very patient right now, waiting for the open, waiting for that moment to penetrate the glove into the face of Frazy. Some feel Frazy was never the same exactly after that Scipion defeat. Midway, round three. Frazy is breathing hard, too. He's obviously not in the condition that Chez is. He's gasping. Has his mouth wide open, really trying to take in the oxygen. Chez may even be switching styles. He's been known to fight some. That was the most solid punch, a crisp punch by Crazy to the head of Chez, and that's angered Chez, I believe. Chez comes right back. Chez looks good. Not much to say other than the fact that Chez has everything his way right now, but dropping your hands like that is not a smart idea. Dropping the hands as he backpedaled, at least he was doing that. Hands. You think they're tiring. However, in Chez's case, he was just whiling away the time. Crazy, really, really sucking wind now, really having trouble. Breathing very hard. Chez dictating the tempo. Crazy is a veteran. There's a great left hand on the side of the head. Crazy knocked down only once in his pro career. It was by Alex Ramos. And Chez has never been down. That's it for round three. We'll follow Mark Crazy into his corner. See how he's doing. Hold on. Give me that mouthpiece, folks. You got a break coming out of there, baby. You're coming away standing straight. You got to follow the jab with something. Let's get on the roll, baby. Let's do what we practiced, okay? All right, you're not thinking out there. Go to concentrate with you. When you come away firmly, come away in lines. Come in on an angle, go away on an angle. Break that head when you get through punching, okay? Okay, let's start doing what we practice now. Let's get at him. Don't toy with the jab, Mark. You're toying, okay? You Bobby like Chez pressing. Doing no wrong. Looking great, looking strong. Came in in great shape. And as you just heard in the corner, Crazy people telling him, get on a roll, baby, and follow up that jab. But I don't know whether that can happen at this point or not, because Crazy really doesn't look to be in top shape. And it's round four, scheduled for ten. Bobby Chez in the dark blue, Mark Crazy in the light blue. And it's been uh, all Bobby Chez up to this point. Crazy certainly wants this fight as badly as Chiz because of his new superhero class. Crazy really feels comfortable as a light heavyweight. He feels much better when he's heavier, so he had to come down a little bit for this fight. Crazy, who has lost only three fights in his 27 pro, has defeated several top middleweights, including a unanimous decision over Dwight Tiger Walker. It was, it was a low blow extravaganza. He lost a 10-rounder to Alex Ramos in March of 83. He lost that 10-round decision to Wilford uh, Scipion. So he never really felt comfortable as a middleweight, however, being a natural light heavyweight, being a football player, a tailback, quite a talented athlete, used to carrying that weight. 
fought as a light heavyweight in the amateur ranks. 237 wins, 15 defeats, an extensive amateur career. Mark Frazee, his other pro defeat was to Charlie Boston. He was 18-0 before his first loss. To Wilford Scipion, as we said uh, at the outset, Bobby Chez was 20-0 before his first loss.